Now I said that we had a very wonderful view before, but in actual fact, finding a decent view where the land is so flat is quite difficult. And the best view available here is right up here on this tower. I can see the mountains, I can see Hutzbreit, Acorn Hook, Bushbuck Ridge, Ulusaba, and all the way down towards, I don't know what that is, maybe Tula Mahash, probably Bushbuck Ridge down there, maybe even Hazy View. Anyway, the reason for climbing this tower, we often mention the Gari Repeater, we often mention the towers, and this tower is basically where the signal comes from. And so it goes from the cars into this tower, into this dish, and then across to the final control, and then out basically to where you are. And it is a magical, magical spot to come and stand. And I quite often come up here just to see what's happening. And I thought I'd do that this evening on account of the fact that I cannot find any animals for you. All the viewers are stressing a little bit about your situation up there. No, don't be stressed about it. I've done this many, many times. Fear not. Many times indeed. If I was working up here, I would definitely have a harness. So I wouldn't just climb up. But to climb up and down, it would be absolutely fine. So I should come down slowly if you'd like me to. Being careful not to kick any of the repeaters off. I did that once. I came up here halfway through my run and unfortunately kicked off the internet repeater. And, uh, well, nobody was very pleased with me, so I had to come back and fix it. But I did bring a harness that time. Agent A says he's going to talk to your mummy. What is that? Agent A says he's going to talk to your mother. Someone's going to talk to my mother. No, please don't do that. My mother would be absolutely scandalized. My mother is unable to watch me stand on a chair, let alone the Gari repeater. But as long as you keep at least three limbs attached at any one time, I believe you can do this very safely. Hell's Bells, that chap, what's his name, who climbed that rock face in Yosemite without any assistance whatsoever, just a bit of chalk in his backpack. I mean, I'm sure his mother was less than pleased. <laughs> I forget his name. Anyway, there it is. I am quite blessed in that I was not born afraid of heights. Are you afraid of heights, Sebastian? No, I'm fine. <laughs> there we are. I have survived. Well done. Everyone, <coughs> everyone's saying, wow, that was high. I hope you're all relieved. It's quite high. And I mean, you'd hurt yourself, but you know what? You've watched me climb trees often enough, and many of those trees, if I'd fallen out of them, I'd have done myself just as much damage as if I'd fallen off of that just, I suppose, semi-long ladder, really. It was so satisfying up there. I mean, the view really is unbelievable. I should have taken a cell phone up there and taken a picture. Yeah. I suppose, Seb, you used to get that view in your drone, didn't you? Exactly. Before David crashed it. <laughs> Ow! I've just broken my knee. Oh! <laughs> <laughs>